Action this time out of the 153 weight class, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the red trunks and weighing in at 151 pounds. He represents Square Unity MMA with a 2 and 9 record. From Bronx, New York, Mark the Wild Harmonics Hannah. All right, and fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the red trunks with the black trim and weighing in at 154. Representing Hyena Muay Thai with a record of 5 and 2 from Houston, Texas, Romel GDH Canales. Okay, fighters, you've both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Uh, Do you understand? Do you understand? Uh, Touch cards come out fighting. Uh, We roll on on Friday night fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, and a tremendous fight about to get underway, and it is underway. Romel G GBH Canales taking on Mark, the Wild Harmonics, Hannah, and an active start for Hannah in the early going here. That's a 153-pound fight, modified rules in effect, so no elbows here. Romel Canales made a Tremendous debut on Friday Night Fights back in December. Beat Antonio De Jesus by unanimous decision, but he was in control of this fight. The 18-year-old with a lot of composure, tremendous athlete. Yeah, I'd like to see how Mark's uh, stamina is going to keep up. But uh, Ramel's, a, from what I hear from Mark, he trains really hard. He's in the gym every day. Uh, very technical fighter for such a young age. And as you can see here, he's just kind of working positioning against the ropes and trying to wear out Hannah. Now Mark Hanna coming in with a two and seven record, but he's an active fighter, fought, has fought twice in the last month. And he is looking to break a losing streak here tonight against a very, very tough young fighter in Romel Canales. Hanna in the red trunks, Canales in the black with red trim. And Hannah's long and it looked like from the start in the 30 seconds, really fast hands. Um, I'd like to see him break away and try to use that, that length. But uh, Canales is just facing his chin and really working and grinding out in that clinch. Just winging knees at the yeah. midsection of Mark Hanna here. Uh, good dump. Scary moment there as Canales kind of pulled Hanna down with him and Hanna almost hit, looked like he hit his head on the canvas. And Canales seeing an opening here in the closing moments of round one. Looking to take advantage of Hanna. Canales really just trying to manhandle him against the ropes. He's being real active in the clinch. Canales ran into one right there, and he throws a left hook right at the bell. So two very, very distinct coaching corners in the ring tonight, Mike Tirico. On the left side of our screen, Romel Canales coached by the great, the head trainer out of, Revol of Hyena Muay Thai in Houston, Texas, Mark Beecher. As we see the spill there towards the end of round one as looked like Mark Hanna might hit his head, but and then Canales kind of wasting no time going after him. Got right on him. Nothing really hit there. I thought that uppercut landed flush, but it didn't looking at the replay, but that, he did get that a, right hook he landed a right flush. hook and the uppercut kind of partially landed and one nice left knee yes. to the midsection too from Romel Canales. I think Canales, if their elbows were allowed in this fight, he would definitely have a bigger edge in the clinch there. But he was really busy, and I think he wanted staying active in the clinch and really controlling the ring. Here we go with round two between Canales and Mark Hanna. When Hanna's at this range, he's got to be a little busier because once Canales gets in, oh, and Canales throwing heavy hands right now. Right hook there. Overhand right for Canales. And Hanna has those kind of frenetic hands. He tries to kind of throw Canales off, sticks in the teep up high there. But he's got to be careful because Canales might be able to time that. And yeah. as Mike Tirico just said a moment ago, heavy hitter is young Romel Canales. Yeah. And if you leave him too much room, big trouble. Yeah. And Hanna keeps that left hand low. And I'm sure that's what Beecher told Canales in the corner. Set up that overhand right. And it looks like he's been trying to do that the first half of this round. 
Mark the Hyena Beecher, head coach at Hyena Muay Thai in Houston. That's Ramel's head coach and brother of Primo Bellarosa, partner of Mike Tirico as Canales bullies Hannah back to the canvas. And that's what he has to do. If Hannah's going to keep throwing those teeps, you got to catch him and make him pay. Canales whiffed on the leg kick, and Hannah rushed forward with a combination, but he did not continue. And Canales really likes to be the aggressor. He likes to be coming forward, so you don't want to give him too much time to calculate his next move. Big height disadvantage here for Canales, but it hasn't been a factor so far. He's 5'7", Mark Hanna's 6'1". He's calm and composed, looking to set up that overhand like he did again, and then controlling the clinch. He's got 10 seconds. I'm sure he's not going to try to break away, and he'll just keep, keep him on the ropes, keep working those knees. Oh, got stuck. Kevin Mohal breaks him up round. as round two comes to a close. So back to the corner for both of these men, Mark Beecher and Sammy the Bull Mongonia, one of our main event participants this evening, also helping out in the corner for GBH, which stands for Grievous Bodily Harm, something that Canales has done quite a bit of in his young career. You see the heavy hands of Canales, big overhand right there. That was a and again a lot of a lot of mustard behind that right hand. Hannah's got to do a better job setting up those kicks. As you can see, I think this is when he got swept. Oh, that's when he landed it. And it has been effective for him, but it's effective when he is setting up with those hands. And Canales was in the situation in his last fight against Antonio De Jesus, fast facing a, a taller fighter who wants to get his legs extended. And Canales, for the most part, does, does not let that happen. He is crowding the taller man and not allowing Mark Hanna to extend those long legs. Now. Mark Hanna fights out of Square Unity MMA in the Bronx as he's under fire here in the early going of round number three. Nice Another big right again. for Canales. Goodness gracious. You get the feeling this young man could be a boxer if he wanted to, but he's in the Muay Thai game, and he's been impressive so far with a five and one mark in his young career. As I was saying, Mark Hanna fights out of Square Unity MMA in the Bronx. There is no head trainer there, so it's kind of a almost a fighting co-op, so a very different style of training and preparation between Canales and Mark Hanna. And you can see it in their fighting styles. Uh, Canales is definitely much more composed. It's a little bit more polished. Definitely, yes. That's a better way to put it, much more polished. And Canales knowing exactly what he has in front of him in terms of the longer, leaner man putting his head, his top of his head, the crown of his head into Mark Hanna's jaw throughout this fight. And they're working hard in the clinch, but this is where it's exciting. I want to see Canal set up that overhand again. And there it is. Big overhand right as Mike Tirico just called for a moment ago. And another on the break. He's going body head, switching it up, and it is open. Canales throwing all kinds of leather at Mark Hanna here. Let's see if the Wild Harmonics can get something going here down the stretch. Under 30 seconds now in round three. And Hanna doing a good job not getting bullied in the clinch this round. But still, I think he's behind on the cards. He needs to break away and do something big. Final seconds, here's Canales trying to close the show. Chasing him around the ring, put him in the corner. In the corner is Mark Hanna. And, and Canales a, finished with a statement there. A big right at the bell for Romel GBH Canales, another clinic for the 18-year-old from Texas. Goodness gracious, this kid, what a future he has in front of him, Mike. Definitely, especially with Beecher in his corner, being so young and composed. Should have a long, long, successful career. Take another look at some of the action from that third round. And Canales fighting in a phone booth with the Wild Harmonics from the get-go here. We saw one or two really nice teeps up high from Mark Hanna. And the rest of the time, basically, Canales was in his mug. Yep, fighting in a phone booth, like you said. Not giving him space to land those teeps and push that were pretty effective in that second round. 
And initially, Mike, it looked like kind of that that awkward style of Hannah was perhaps causing some confusion for Rommel, but he caught it on pretty quickly. Yep. And I think they had a good game plan because he was engaging in the clinch from the get, uh, but on the break, he was hitting that overhand. So. For the official decision, we send it up to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges see this 30-27 for a winner by unanimous decision. Romel GDH Canales. So GBH himself, grievous bodily harm. Romel Canales. Next to the mustachioed Sammy the Bull, Mongonia, who we'll see a little bit later tonight. And there's the two brothers, Mark Beecher and Primo Bellarosa. A victorious night for Hyena Muay Thai, Ramel Canales. Now 6-1, you're watching Friday Night Fights.